All right, hello VYC note flighters. Um, I'm here to show you how to put in, to input notes into note flight. Um, the process is super easy once you learn how to do it in an easy way. Um, it's gonna sound a little hard at first, but I promise if you just push forward, you're gonna do a great job. Um, as a little bit of a disclaimer, I find that it's significantly more easy to use note flight when you are using keyboard commands. Oops, press my keyboard. But instead of inputting notes manually using the mouse, I find it's much easier to use your keyboard. So I'm going to go forward using keyboard commands and just telling you exactly what I'm doing. So I want to start this phrase and I'm going to want it to start with a dotted quarter note. So what I do is I select the bar and then I go up to duration and I say quarter rest. Awesome, look. Now if I want to input a note, all I have to do is hover over that quarter rest. You see it's highlighted in orange and I'm going to press C because I want the first note to be a C. Now any time that a note or a rest is highlighted in orange, it means that anything you do on the keyboard or up here uh, is only going to affect that note. So say I wanted to raise or lower that pitch. All I would do is press up, up, up on the directional keypad to raise it and press down, down, down on the directional keypad to lower it. Super easy, right? And now I want this first note to be a dotted quarter note. So I'm gonna go all the way up to duration and go all the way over to this rhythm dot, which um, you can see in the lower right hand corner, there is a tiny period. And that shows you what the key command is for a rhythm dot. So just, you don't have to use all the key commands all the time. I could just press it and it turns into a dotted quarter note. But um, just pay attention to the uh, key commands that you're seeing because they will help you over time as you learn the software. So I want this to be a dotted quarter note. So I'm just gonna press a period and that creates a dotted quarter note. Now the next note I want conveniently is also a C and it's an eighth note. So all I'm gonna do is toggle over using the directional keypad to that eighth note. And I'm gonna enter in a C because I also want that to be a C. Now, one thing that I use a lot in note flight is this R for repeat or duplicate. I find it's a super easy way to enter in notes, especially if you're using the same note value. Um, so the next note I want to write in is an E flat. So I'm just gonna press R to repeat that eighth note and I'm gonna raise it up to the E line or the E space by clicking up, up, and there we go. Now I want to repeat that note, so I'm gonna press R and lower it a little bit so it becomes a C. You getting the hang of it now? Okay, now we're gonna do some fun stuff. I want these notes to be tied together to create sort of a, um, a syncopated rhythm. So all I'm gonna do is go up to duration and go all the way over to this tie. And I'm going to use the, the uh, key command of a comma, which you can see in the lower right hand corner, to create that tie, to tie those two notes. Awesome, super easy. Now I'm gonna go through a little bit faster telling you what the notes, or telling you what I'm doing on my keyboard, but I'm just gonna be repeating, repeating, and tying using those uh, key commands. Oh, I actually don't. All right, so I have my first phrase, and I entered that in just using the repeat key, using my directional keypad to raise or lower a note and then tying them using the comma. Super easy. Now, the next 
the, and now I have my first phrase. Now this whole phrase, I would like to duplicate and change a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I have this last note selected in orange, and I'm going to press shift and click the first note. And that will select that whole two bar phrase. Now, if I want to repeat that, all I have to do is press the R key, R. There we go. And now we have our duplicated two bar phrase. Now you can still see it's selected down here in orange. So to deselect it, I would click way outside the frame. Yep, there we go, deselected. Now I wanna change the last quarter note here uh, to be an F. So I'm going to click it and then using my directional keypad, I'm gonna raise, 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 raise. There we go. And look, we've raised that pitch. Now, I am going to show you what you would do without using a key signature if you wanted to add accidentals. For this project, I don't wanna use any accidentals, but just so I can show you how, it's pretty easy. Say I wanted to make this F an F sharp. I would go all the way up to pitch over here, pitch in orange, and I'd go over to that sharp and press it. Super easy. And you can see, just take note of the plus sign uh, key command if you want to raise something by half step and create a sharp. But I don't actually want that, so I am going to deselect it up here. And that's a good time to remind you that anything is highlighted Anything that is highlighted in white is what you are actively sort of selecting. Uh, and you can deselect it any time to make it uh, a different value or a different pitch or what have you. So I have that phrase lined up and uh, I can raise and lower it if I want using this pitch command, but I'm going to keep it uh, F natural because that's what I want. Now, if I want to play that whole phrase, all I have to do is click play. So I'm going to click play and you're going to immediately know what song it is. I hope. Oops. And I'm going to just press uh, go to the beginning because it will start wherever this timestamp or this, uh, this bar is. So I'm going to click go to the beginning, click play. <laughs> Actually, I messed up the phrase a little bit, but that's okay. Um, this, so it's super easy to play and listen to things uh, when you're ready to. But the most important thing is that when you are in the moment of playing and you want to start entering notes or changing notes, they won't let you change it until you click stop. So that's another really important thing to click stop, and that will bring this back up. All right, so... Now you have it, there is some note input techniques for note flight for just a simple melody. Um, so, and now I'm going to show you very quickly how to add other notes uh, to create a chord. Now you'll see that I have this uh, E selected and all I'm going to do is click on it and then this floating phantom note appears. And to create a chord, all you have to do is click where you want the new phantom note. Now you'll see that that, now I have um, another note on top of this E, and you'll see that it's selected in orange. All I have to do to get another note to create um, a three note chord is to click that note again, and then the phantom note appears. There you go. Now, I'll play this just for fun, but I don't really want that chord there. So um, to delete the notes, you have to make sure they're individually se selected. So I'm gonna select this B here and delete it. And now you'll see both of these notes are selected, but I only want to delete this note. So I'll click it and press delete on my keypad. And there you go. There you have it, that is creating single notes and chords 
in note flight uh, next video i am going to talk about adding text and dynamics so stay tuned it's uh, gonna be a lot of fun from here on out and please if you have any questions feel free to drop a comment in the comment section um, or also reach out to me on email and I, I'd be happy to walk you through anything. All right, see you next time.